Hello, this is Saf from Team Back Ventures. We are happy to announce that we are starting a new playlist on Python basics for data science. It will be a step-by-step -step video series in which we will go through all the basic concepts of Python like inbuilt data structures, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. In the end of this playlist, we will make a EDA exploratory data analysis project using Kaggle dataset. This is going to be the first video of this playlist. Here we will discuss on the building dataset list. The goals are mentioned here. We will discuss here what is list and what is indexing, the properties of list and what is slicing in list with examples and what is concatenation in list with examples. You have to fulfill some prerequisites before starting this video series. You should install Python's latest version in your system or any version above 3.6 version of Python. Uh, you can use VS Code as your IDE or any other IDE you prefer. Let's start. What is list? It is one of the four built-in data types of Python. You can store any kind of data in this data structure. Here, as you can see, mango, orange, banana, apple and grapes are saved here. This is the syntax of this list. Let us hands on on this. Here we are making a folder known as the Python basics for data science. Let's open the VS code here. Let us make the first file named list practice dot py let's discuss how to create a list in python there are two ways of creating the list let us see here We can create a list using third bracket or using a list function. Here we can write some data like 2, 4, 5 and 7. And in the list function, we can pass the values in uh, brackets like 6, 9, 8. Let's print it out. Let us see the output. As you can see, the output has been printed. Let's let us show a first fun fact. If you pass a string format in the list function, it will divide the string in the indexes like 1, 4, 3, 6 and 7. This is the string and the resultant will be the index value of all the string in this list. Let us see the output. As you can see, all the index value has been separately a considered as an element in the list 3. Let us comment it out. Now, let us discuss about the two types of indexing available in list. The two types of indexing available in list, first is positive indexing and second is negative indexing. The positive indexing starts from 0 to length minus one element of the list. And the native indexing start from minus one from the end till the minus of the length of the list if as a starting element. As you can see here, let us have a practice. We 
list four. Let us create a list with three, six, seven, and nine, containing four elements. Let's print the list four zeroth element, that is three. Let's run it out. As you can see, three has been printed. Let us print the last element, that is three. The nine has been printed. Let's give an index value of four, but it will raise an error as the length of the index is four. And I have stated that a, the indexing start from 0 to length minus 1 at position. So if we give a uh, index which is beyond the indexing, then it will raise an error. Let us see. Here you can see the list index out of range error has been printed. So this is an error. Let's try with the negative indexing. Let us give minus 1. So 9 should be printed. As you can see here, 9 is printed. Let's give minus 4. 3 should come. 3 has been come. Let us say minus 7. Where it will raise an error. It is beyond the index level. As you can see, there is an error. Let us now discuss the properties of list. Ordered. Ordered simply means that the adding of elements should be from the last. But in some cases, this property changed. But in general case, the ordered means the elements always been added from the last of the list. Let us see with an example. Let us add a new element to the list 4 using list 4.app append method. Let's say we add 12 and then print the list 4. Let's run it. As you can see, from 12 has been inserted at the back. So, the ordered property is satisfied. Now, let's discuss about changeable. Changeable means we can change the values of a list even after it has been created. As you can see, we have uh, we have added 12 in the already existing list, that is list 4. So, this the changeable property is satisfied. Let us remove an element from the list, like using the function pop list 4 dot pop. Remove this. Let us run it. As you can see, the ninth element has been removed. So, the property of changeable is satisfied. Mutable. This means the index value can be changed. Like list 4, index value at 1 is 6. Let us change the value at the 1's place should be changed to 10. Let us see. As you can see, now 6 has been changed to 10. So, the mutable property holds. Let's discuss about heterogeneous. Heterogeneous means any data type can be stored in the list. If, for example, let us create a new list, list 5 containing all the heterogeneous data types like an integers, floating values or decimal values, strings, tuple. We will discuss about the tuples in the upcoming lectures and sets. Let's print it.
As you can see, the integer values, the floating point values, the strings and tuples and other data types has been printed successfully without raising an error. This means it holds the property of heterogeneous. Let's say the next property is duplicate. We can add duplicate items in the list. We just create a new list. Let us add few duplicate items. Let us run it. As you can see, 1 is repeated twice, 4 is thrice, and 8 is once. So, list uh, can have duplicate items in it. It will not raise an error. Now, let us discuss about string slicing. In simple words, string slicing means slicing a part of a list from a whole list with the use of the indexes. Let us give an example. We will pass a starting index, the ending index, minus 1, and the increment. By default, the increment value is 1. Let us see. Let us see with the example of the list 5. We will slice it. Print list 5 from second index to the fifth index. So, as you can see, this is the zeroth index, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So, the answer should be from second index space, that is 5, to this fourth index space, as it is stated the index minus 1 at position. Let us see the output. As you can see, this is the output of this slicing. We can also have negative slicing, like minus 6 to minus 1. We will get a value from this is minus 1 at index, minus 2 at index, minus 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the answer should be from minus 6 index to minus 1, minus 1 index, that is minus 2. This should be the output. Let us see. Always slicing is occurred from left to right. As you can see here, the output. Let us give an increment. Let us slice from first index to the sixth index using an increment of 2. As you can see, we are getting this output. Here we are getting the output like 4, 9.1 and hello. As this, this one is the sixth index. This one is the first. This one is the sixth minus one. Let's now discuss about concatenation. Concatenation in simple words means combining two lists together. Let us concatenate the list 5 and list 6 together. 
We can do concatenation just by using a simple plus operator. So the output of the program. We get all the output of list 5 and then all the outputs of list 6 as you can see here. So we reach the end of this video tutorial. In the next video, we are going to discuss about list functions. Here, CSF Hammer is the instructor, Amandatta is the content writer, and Ashish Kundu is the video editor. Thanks for watching.